Welcome back everyone to another episode. We're now in episode 2 of Space Astronomy and I have been doing lots of stuff off camera. I was thinking and planning on what to do and yeah I got a lot of junk in here so I actually built something behind me. It's probably not much but it's a simple house. I'll definitely worry about designs later but right now I need shelter. And here I have done a farm a lot of food, uh, about a long line of food farms is what I'm saying. So we got here peas, cantaloupe, coffee bean, sugar canes, wheat, broccoli, cucumber, and lettuce. So this is just eight of the many crops that I'll, plant. I'll be growing very soon in the future. And I'm going to go that way. So it's going to be one long farm. <laughs> now, but I got enough food uh, prepared thanks to the wheat here. Oops, gotta, gotta store the food here in the chest. I'm gonna move these chests inside as well. So I've also been doing a lot of mining, but not much. And what what I need to do is to keep continue with the quests. Oh, there's a sword here, a steel sword. Oh, that's a useful sword. That uh, must be a drop from a mob. So today in this episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some quest doing. So we're gonna do some quests. I did do some um, quests as well off camera, just to get things started. But we're gonna keep going. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Looks like I finished the quest somehow. Uh, what was it? Ah, yes, the this one. So since I already got a watering can, which is which is why you see that farm over there, I'll just get melons. Well, one melon, one seed. Okay. Yeah, we're going to reserve this for a melon farm somewhere. Right now, we'll store the food here. We'll store some stuff. And we're going to move the chests inside. Now, I believe there are iron chests here. Give me one sec. Which allows more storage. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna soon slowly shift to that. We have... Maybe we can make two iron chests in equivalent to the double chest here. So that it won't be a hassle. So, by the end of this episode, we should have maybe four iron chests in the house, and then we'll transfer all the inventory. I wonder if this is, this mod pack has backpacks. They actually do via Project Red Exploration. Well, when we get there, we will see what's, how it works. Now, let's go back to our quest. So, we've done that. Did we unlock anything? Aha! Check this out. Automatic farming. It's... That's where the modded stuff comes in, the machines. So, let me just uh, go through other quests and see. Okay, yep, we do need that. Rubber trees. We can do this one as well. We just have to find a rubber tree somewhere. It's getting late at night. And we're going to do a mining trip as well, this one. We already got tin ore, so what we need left are aluminum ore. Uh, iron ore and copper ore. Actually, the aluminum one is a bit difficult to find, but don't worry. I already got some, I believe, in... I don't think I got some of the mines. So... This is what I got so far, and there's the rest of the team. We'll just transfer it over here. Okay, so we're gonna get... We're gonna do a bit of a mining trip and get some uh, stuff. And we'll bring one of these. So I don't need to sleep since I'm not going out anyway. We're going to do this and get back downstairs to the ravine that I found. I think it's already seen the first episode, but... Yep, it's a good... Not, ba not bad of a ravine. There's aluminum up there, but we're just going to see if we can find other caves uh, down here. So I bring this with me so that I can repair the stone pickaxe. And I should continue with it. Where I'm going. I should also make a bucket as well for water just for safety purposes since I'm near the lava, lava level. I see you up there. You want to come down and challenge me? What is that? Looks like it has a... is that a hat? I'm very curious, you know. I, I'm gonna go up there and see what's that skeleton uh, all about. Where's that aluminum? Yep, over there. So we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna see explore some machines. So, in the quest, it says, uh, so this must be from, 
this looks like my factory reloaded yeah and we need plastic sheets, we need raw plastic there's actually a lot and rubber of course and that's the other quest, so that means we need to do the other quest first we need to find rubber trees get some rubber and of course bring them back home so let's see there's I'm gonna keep mining and see if there will be anything interesting later on so we get some iron here and some aluminum and copper so lots of plants there there's a lot of plants oh someone's firing at me oh ouch okay oh I'm stuck so there's a lot of things to do, of course, a lot of projects. This space astronomy has a lot of mods. Obviously, the main goal is getting to space and exploring the other, the vast space of, the vast space, basically. Okay. I have played before Galactic Raft. I have been to the moon, and that's it. Not sure if I've been to Mars, but I did make a sustainable base, uh, made a sustainable base of oxygen where is that skeleton? oh there he is, he fell down a sustainable base with oxygen and uh, what is that thing over there? oh, I know what this is yep so sometimes when you kill mobs this comes out, it's like a spirit to kill it, you can get kill it so that you can get what this is, ectoplasm and it, uh, I believe this comes from random things which probably I'll explain in another episode. So I'll keep mining, see if I can find anything else interesting. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have water buckets ready. You know what? I'll just make an, this one for the lava. Uh, why did I waste that? Why did I waste uh, that? So now I have to find 15 more <laughs> iron ore, but that's not a problem. We'll try to find more caves though. Oh, looks like there's oil over here. Hmm. Alright, so I'll keep mining and let me s and I'll try to see if I could find some more caves. Be right back. Alright, I'm almost done. I just need I believe a few more iron ore left. Yeah, I need about four more. And I'm actually in the deeper area of the cave. Looks like uh, there's some interesting ores that I'm not unfamiliar with. I like that silicon ore. Definitely a key component for galactic craft. But we should be almost done here. So we're gonna just keep unlocking a lot of missions. Uh, I mean, finishing quests so that we can unlock more stuff. After this one though, if there's nothing more interest if there's anything else, if there's no other missions in the same category of the beginnings I will switch to Tinker's contract because we're gonna start working on making a smeltery. So I believe that's it, yeah 15. And it should be done. But I'm gonna put it on hold because I my inventory is full. So I'll just mark a waypoint here. It's called Cave Checkpoint. I don't know what I like to abbreviate it, but people probably don't know what it is if they would first see what a CC1 means. I think it's like the motorcycle thing or whatever that is. But anyway, so I'm gonna go back to the surface and we'll complete the quest. Oh good, it's daytime, so the timing is right. Just deposit some of these and we should be able to get these. So we'll store it in here for the meantime. We can probably make a couple of iron chests already. You know what, let's do that now. Uh, let's see if there's another, oh nope. 
we can do this we can do this now and smelt the iron ore to create two chests and then we'll just uh, derive our items into the the new chests uh, let's make it quick like that it still spends two coal anyway it's usually eight per coal unless we can get a faster furnace okay next let's now focus on did it lock oh yeah it did I see okay we'll get to that um, in a bit there is also power armor which is very interesting we need to get some food as well. We have to kill. We can't just shield the sheep. We have to kill the sheep, which I really don't like. But that's okay. Not a problem. Oh, and we also unlock this one. Ah, yes. The power for galactic craft. But we're still short of resources. So what we will do next is focus on Tinder's construct so that when we get better tools, we will get more minerals or more resources. So next is we're going to go make a smeltery, but before, but to get that, we will need the following three things, sand, gravel, clay. Clay is usually kind of difficult, but usually you can see them on shallow areas like this end, like this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some clay. We'll probably get maybe a stack or two. I think stack is recommended, At two stacks or three stacks would be recommended, so we're going to do that. We get lots of clay. We also have to get lots of sand and lots of gravel so that we can upgrade our items. But I wonder though, I'll take I'll also check in a bit. Maybe flint is has longer durability than the stone. Because I shouldn't have used a stone tool rod because that actually lowers the durability. The modifier I believe is half of the um Half of the usual durability, it's supposed to be 130 or something or so. So we'll probably upgrade it into a flint and then we'll use a wooden tool rod so that the modifier will be uh, 1, which means it's going to be equivalent to the durability of the pickaxe head. Looks like we got a nutmeg tree here. We can definitely plant that. So there's no clay there. So I'll keep searching for clay and. Uh, I'll get clay, I'm going to get the sand here, and also get the gravel, and, and uh, we will be beginning the smeltery, so I'll be right back. Alright, I got what I needed, we're going to now use the clay, okay, so to make grout, sorry about that, that's probably the sound of flush upstairs. But to make grout, we will need... Okay. So that's going to be two stacks of grout. Again, that is gravel, sand, and clay. Now we'll make a second batch. There we go. That's about four stacks. And we will cook all of it. So we should be done. Yep, we should be done. We can claim a reward. We can add more now. This coal in the furnace. We don't really need too much. Don't really need too many of it. So now that it unlocks the smeltery itself, so we'll have to wait a bit uh, for the grout to smelt so that we can make the smeltery. Now, normally, each, now based on the manual. Let me correct myself. Based on the manual, but it's usually about uh, three by three minimum, or I believe we can make a two by two. Actually, it's not this book; it's the other book. Okay, maybe it's. I'll have. Okay, maybe it's not this book. It used to be in the first book, but I guess it was moved to the third one. So, to get the third book of smeltery, I believe we just need that, and I should have gotten the third book from that point. Once I do this, oh, okay, that was odd. There, all right. So while we were smelting the um, sear bricks, let's take a, a bit of a look on the smeltery. So what we need is a smeltery controller, a seared tank, at least nine seared bricks, 
and any combination of potency bricks your tanks or drains with one faucet one casting table that's just for one drain if you want to use but we can't just use just one drain for this we're going to do two which i'll explain to you in a bit later i usually do two so the minimum is normally just a three by three but let's get away from let's get away from that and do a bit on sort of meta so instead of the usual 4x4, 5x5, we're gonna try I'm gonna try doing a 3x5 smeltery. I'm pretty sure people have done that before for creativity. I don't know if I've seen one in the in videos, but I did see 2x2, 1x3, I think 4x4, 5x5, and I believe the maximum is a 9x9. But we'll do a 3 but 3 by 5 for now. I think that's enough but that's going to require a lot of seed bricks and I would I would fear that two of these is not enough and let's try to fix some of our junk here you know what, let's just let's just throw some or no I have a better idea let us add one more furnace so that we can speed up the process we'll add a third batch of grout And then just store the rest. We, we can expand the, we can expand it later. So just store some of the rest of the junk. We'll probably need four of these, so we'll have to find more iron, which can be really a pain sometimes because if you go caving with uh, limited items, that's gonna be hard. So we're gonna do a setup here of making three by five, and I'll get back right back to you once I got the platform ready. Well. I made progress, but it's going to take some time to complete everything. And I still need to get a seared tank, which requires um, glass. So while we're letting the smeared bricks or seared bricks get smelted, let's see what, what other plants we, we can, uh, what plants uh, we can think of today or in this episode. So definitely... We're going to go to the moon, and we will set up um, certain machines that will lead us there. So it's like a step-by-step -step thing, and we have to follow the quest book. Hang on. Could I make, I believe I made a lot of seared bricks. Oh, we need to reserve 120. I hope I didn't use all of it. If not, then it's, well, it looks like it's about to run out, so I should stop where... I should stop at one certain point so that I can finish the mission. Don't wanna. I don't wanna let it to go. Away. I don't wanna let it go to waste. Where's, I'll just get my last batch of grout here. And I do hope the last of that will give us like 100 point. And I believe we can unlock more. And maybe it will also unlock more stuff. The storage system, though has got me uh, interested because I like to get things sorted out. And I did learn how to make the vanilla, the vanilla style of sorting system, but I want to get get on with it with the modded style of sorting system, so I'm really curious about that. There's also science research, but we'll have to complete these uh, ones first. So we need a coal generator for this one. Sorry about that, I'm just trying to gather my thoughts here. I'm still a bit uh, um, underprepared, but uh, I'll definitely in the next coming episodes, I'll definitely organize myself better. So I do apologize if it's not the best for today. But definitely we are making progress, and definitely there will be more things to come. All right, so while waiting for the smelter to finish, let's expand this farm. I'm going to cut more bamboo trees here and make a second set of uh, farming food uh, food farm here. And I'll have to dig for more dirt so that we could, it, could, it will be in the same level as the rest. And I'll have to sort some of the inventory here. 
And I will also transfer the items to the iron chest. We'll probably need to make two more iron chests as well. So that we can get get it sorted out. Oh, creeper, you scared me there. Even though my voice didn't show a reaction of panic. But that's fine. Not a problem. Look at that. A row of fully grown crops. Well, almost all of it. That one needs to be fully grown. That's okay. This one, we need to also complete this line. Whoops, I need to do that. But it will get me going. Okay, so I'll be right back. I will complete in the next set of crops. We're gonna do... Let's first, before we do that though, let's first uh, choose our next batch of crops. We need to choose eight. So there's a bamboo shoot seed. We can try that. Grape seed, mustard seed, cantaloupe. Wait, I think we already have cantaloupe here. Whoops. Okay, we gotta plant this one. We don't want to keep any spare seeds so that we can stay organized with our crops. So the next batch, or the next eight, so that's three so far. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. Do we have zucchini? We don't, we need zucchini. So that's four. It's different from cucumber, take note. Then we'll probably use the berries on the other side. Blackberry, blueberry, raspberry. Okay, so those are the four berries. Well, we do have grapes as well, maybe strawberries even. But we will use these four berries for the meantime and we will, we will get this farm done. All right, so while I'll go do this off camera so that I won't spend most of the time uh, showing you what's done since you already know what it does, and I'll get back to you. All right, so I got a second batch of crops growing, and at this point it did spend a lot of time, so that means the seed brick should be done already. Yep, we got it here. Hopefully, I made 120. Yes, I did, which means. Oh, wait. But I have a feeling. Hopefully, you have to ask me. Yep, we need the basic components, and we just need the seared tech. Okay, good. It automatically was detected, so sweet. We're gonna make a seared tech, but we'll make. We'll make eight glass. Just to save for one coal, so it won't be a waste. We definitely will have use for this glass someday. But for now, we just need one to complete the quest. And then we'll also finish our 3x5 smeltery. And it's raining. You know, I'll just turn weather off. I think it's better that way. All right, all right, very good. And we need 22 seared bricks. Well, that's actually easy. Let's make one more batch just to be sure. Okay, we got it. Very good, very good. And we'll just put that there. We'll actually need more space than I thought. And we'll just finish the rest here. We'll just put a temporary light here. Okay. I think this should complete it. Yeah, look at that. It's complete. Even though it looks wonky, it's still complete. Let's put a second layer if we can. Just to make it formally complete. You know, it's kind of awkward. If you leave it like, you know, looking weird. Okay, we got our smeltery, so we're now in the next level. Next level of business, I didn't need to put you there. Whoops. So here is where we put the lava. So the purpose of this is to smelt the ores, is what I'm saying. We need to smelt the ores. And the good thing about this is you don't, if you smelt in a regular smeltery, it will produce one. But if you put it in a smeltery, it's going to produce two ingots worth of molten 
molten material. There we go. So we actually have done a lot of progress so far. We've expanded our... I did also make a couple of flint tools so that I'll have longer durability. Although the downside is you need to get flint now as your refillable um, uh, resource instead of cobble. But it's alright, since I got 22 flint and of course there's more durability, that's fine. Okay, so we've done a lot of progress, expanded the farm a bit, did some mining stuff downstairs to, to make the smeltery, get some clay, and we should be now going to the next level of minerals. And we will definitely, we will definitely be, um, we will be definitely making progress from this point. Although I didn't unlock, I didn't unlock some stuff. The getting started has actually a lot of things now to unlock. Uh, but we'll do that in the next episode. We're going to venture out and explore some of the land in the next episode. So we'll now be leaving our house. And I did mark our home here. And we're going to go that way. So GC, and you can see there GC1, which means, well, the C means, uh, C means checkpoint, obviously, like what I did with the CC1 down there. But this is called ground checkpoint. Just, of course, maybe, but I guess some of you already know what that is. So, okay, we have made progress. I do hope I'll, I'll try to plan better in the next episode so that I can be more composed and more organized in my videos. And it's, of course, a start uh, to this series, hopefully, which will last for a while. I'm going to collect some of these. We're definitely going to make interesting food along the way, but we'll have to make first certain crops that um, that are required for making those i think we're going to do some a lot we're going to make a lot of vegetables uh, soup maybe vegetable crops vegetable salad cantaloupe i believe this is it's a different fruit crop i'm not sure i'll probably research on that which means i feel like i'm an idiot but you know never mind We'll definitely be doing a lot of stuff we got more seeds here to plant so we're going to keep going that way to expand the farm Hopefully we'll, it will be, it's going to be like probably just one big box. So I'm going to do a lot of terraforming on this land. It's going to be one flat land and I can see apples. We'll definitely also, you know, design it a bit to make it look more nature friendly or more appealing. You know, apple trees there, cantaloupe trees there, or peach trees there, here and there. I'll definitely find some stuff in the next episode. We're going to do some land uh, exploring. And before we start the next episode, I'll probably also do some mining downstairs. And it's not too not too interesting, but unless I find something interesting down there, then I'll definitely re, um, add the footage to it. So thank you, everyone. And I also have to suit up as well, so I'll need to find more armor. Thanks for watching, and I will hopefully see you in the next episode of Space Astronomy. Take care and have a good night.